Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can download and install WordPress on local host and run it using XAMPP server. In this video, we're going to cover each and every step from installing XAMPP, downloading WordPress and successfully installing it. So stay tuned with us and follow all the steps to install it in your Windows system. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my internet browser and then here I will be typing XAMPP download. Now here you will see this which says download XAMPP and not to worry guys, I'm going to also provide you this in the description of this video. Now here what you need to do is you need to click on this latest version which is 8.2.12. So simply click on that and then wait for it it will start downloading automatically if not then you can always click here the download will automatically begin so the download is approx 158 megabyte now we can see we have successfully downloaded it now simply open the setup and then run it now you may see this kind of warning so simply click on ok and then you will see this setup so simply click on next simply click on next now let's click next next and then it will start installing XAMPP meanwhile this setup install XAMPP in our system let's also download WordPress file for that simply here type download WordPress and there we go now you simply need to click here on this link and not to worry guys, I'm going to provide you all the links in the description of this video. From there, you can directly download it. Now, click on this first one, which is the latest WordPress. And there we go. We have just downloaded WordPress package as well. Now, let's wait for this XAMPP installation process to get completed. Now, we need to click here on finish. So, this will basically open this XAMPP control panel. Now from here you need to run Apache and MySQL and then if it asks you to allow something you can simply click on allow and that's it. Now what we need to do here is we need to go to the XAMPP folder. So in my case it was inside C drive. Now here we need to find this htdocs. So there generally you know our application our WordPress resides. Now I'm simply pasting this zip file which I need to unzip. So I'm going to unzip this file and there we go. Now after pasting WordPress here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually open this page and going to cut this WordPress folder from inside and going to paste it here outside. Let me delete this WordPress um, empty folder and then this zip package. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my browser and then I will be typing localhost and then WordPress and hit enter. So this will open up our WordPress installation. Now the process from here is straightforward. Simply select your language, click on continue, then click on let's go. Now here you will see this screen which is asking us to connect the WordPress to the database. And here you can see we already have started MySQL. Simply click on admin which will take you to this page. Now from here what you can do is you can create a new database. So simply put your database name. So I'm going to put here WordPress and I'm going to click on create. So this will basically create this WordPress database. Now let me close it and here we need to put WordPress username here you need to type root and you can leave password as a blank then click submit. After this what we need to do is we need to click on run the installation and now here you can give your site a name. Let me give technoholic and then here you can make your username. And you can put a password, your email, and so on. Now click on install WordPress. 
and then you will see the message which says WordPress has been successfully installed. Now simply click on login, enter your credential and in this way guys you can successfully log inside your WordPress dashboard. Now let's say you want to see how your site look like, simply click on your website name and then click on visit site. You can also see how it look without even logging in. For that, I'm using this incognito window and then let me paste the same URL. So this is how this default website look like. Isn't it cool guys? I would say this look really nice. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. Please do let me know if you have any confusion or question related to WordPress installation in using XAMPP server in localhost. And I will try to answer your question in comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more such tutorial. And I will catch you soon in my another such video. Till then you take care and bye bye.